And of course, all of the talk over the last couple of days has been about Kamala Harris. But what about the people who didn't get picked to be Biden's running mate? Well, Trevor Shirley is hearing from former lawmakers who didn't quite make the cut about what it's like to be told thanks, but uh, no thanks. The women on Joe Biden's short list for running mate, not named Kamala Harris, are moving on with their lives and careers. And Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown knows exactly how they feel. I didn't really think that early in the process I really wanted it that much, but by the end I really did and I was disappointed. Browns was one of the last few names on Hillary Clinton's running mate short list back in 2016. In the end, she went with Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. When you get closer and closer and it might actually happen, then you get more and more excited and then the, the letdown is, is more. You know, when the presidential candidate calls you and says, sorry, I chose somebody else. And while the Veep Stakes guessing game becomes a reliable national pastime every four years, it's one Brown says he didn't play. I never talked about it publicly during the process. I never said I was being vetted. Think of that vetting process like a job interview, but for the second most powerful position in the world. Well, usually when you apply for a job, the rest of the country doesn't know it. In fact, Brown said one interview lasted more than six hours inside the halls of a D.C. law firm. Questioning and documentation of everything and looking back on your life and wondering if this is a problem or this is a problem. At the end, Brown said the decision came fast and Clinton called personally to say he wasn't her pick. It's just it's a lot of pressure, but it's I considered it such an honor to get to go through that process. A process that ends when Senator Harris officially accepts the nomination during the Democratic National Convention next week. In Washington, Trevor Shirley, CBS 17 News.